Hi everybody, thank you for coming to our virtual story time for toddlers. I am Miss Mary Beth, I'm the librarian for kids and teens at the Skinny Atlas Library. And I like to start our story times with a little song called Open Shut Them. So just follow along and do what I do. Ready? Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them, open shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, but do not let them in. Walk them, walk them, walk them, walk them. Right down to your toes, toes, toes. Raise them, raise them to the sky. And touch them to your nose. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them just like this, this, this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Our book for today is The Paper Bag Princess. Our author is Robert Munch. He wrote all of our words. And our illustrator is Michael Marchenko. He drew all of our pictures. Let's get started. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Uh-oh. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests all over. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath? Oh yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire 
that he burnt up 50 forests. Whoa. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. <sighs> Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. <laughs> the dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. That's really fast. He was very tired when he got back. <sighs> But Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk. <sighs> and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon. The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Princess Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. The end. <laughs> look how happy Elizabeth is dancing in the sun and her paper bag. <laughs> This is one of my very favorite stories to read to children. Um, it's always fun to make all the noises and the sounds in this book, to huff and puff like a dragon, and to finally see what happens to Princess Elizabeth at the end, because she is so strong and brave. I hope you enjoyed our story today. I have a dragon song to go right along with it. It's called I'm a Little Dragon and it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. There are some movements in this song so we'll do it once together really slowly and then we'll speed it up to see if you can do it really fast. Okay? All right, so it starts like this. I'm a little dragon, strong and stout. Here is my tail. Switch your tail. Here is my tail, and here is my snout. <laughs> Please don't tickle me, because if you do, I will sneeze fire all over you. <gasps> Choo! <laughs> It's really silly, right? Okay, let's speed it up and do it a little bit faster. Ready? I'm a little dragon, strong and stout. Here is my tail and here is my snout. 
please don't tickle me because if you do i will sneeze fire all over you ah, ah, ah. <laughs> all right let's do it even faster okay I'm a little dragon strong and stout. Here is my tail and here is my stout. Please don't tickle me because if you do, I will sneeze fire all over you. <sighs> One of my favorite things to do with nursery rhymes, songs, like itsy bitsy spider, and I'm a little teapot, is to try to do it slowly at first and then get faster and faster and faster and faster until you can't even recognize it anymore. Kids have a lot of fun moving as fast as they can. Story time is at an end, but we still have our goodbye song to sing. Are you ready? See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, give a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, big baboon, out the door, Dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, wave goodbye, butterfly. I miss all of you guys so much. If you would like to join any of our Zoom story times, we are doing them Tuesdays at 10.30 live via my living room. <laughs> you can sign up at Scan Library, S-K-A-N, library.org to get the Zoom link. I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.